This is problem number four from section 4.6. It says, the height feet of an object moving vertically is given by S equals negative 16 T squared plus 208 T plus 156, where T is in seconds. Find the object's velocity at T equals zero, its maximum height and when it occurs, and its velocity when S equals zero. So, uh, first of all, we need to know that S stands for our displacement, right? That stands for our height. And that's what they're telling us right here, is it stands for our, how, high, how high this object's flying. Now, if we take the derivative of height, we get volume. Or not volume, we get velocity. So, uh, when we take the derivative of the height, we're going to get a velocity. So, let's go ahead and write this out here. We have S equals negative 16 T squared plus 208 T plus 156. I know if I take the derivative of this function, I get a velocity, and that is going to be written as ds over dt, right, derivative of the s function with respect to t, and that would equal negative 32t plus 208. So this is the equation for the velocity, and that's just simply the derivative of our, our height or our displacement. Now I said find the object's velocity at t equals zero. So I'm gonna write these out here, maybe part a. Uh, velocities, uh, velocity at time equals zero, so we're gonna say velocity at zero equals negative 32 times zero plus 208, which equals 208. So our velocity here is 208 and they have us, uh, is this feet per second? I think it is, I'm gonna go with it. So feet per second, yeah, feet, there it is. Feet per second. Uh, they want us to find its maximum height. Okay, how do we find maximum height? So that's part B. Uh, its, mass, uh, its maximum height would be found by taking the derivative of the original function, which we did, that's a velocity function, and then setting that equal to zero to find the time. So let's set it equal to zero and we'll find the time when it reaches its maximum height. So when I set this derivative to zero, I subtract the 208 over, divide by negative 32, and my time equals negative 208 over negative 32, which is six point five seconds. So I can write that here. This is uh, so this is when the when it occurs. So that's the maximum height when it occurs. It occurs at six point five seconds, and we have to find the when it occurs first to figure out the actual maximum height. Because now we can use that time and we can go back to the height equation right here and we can plug in that time and we'll find the, the maximum height. So S equals negative 16 and we'll say 6.5 squared plus 208 times 6.5 plus 156. Plug all this in the calculator. So 6.5 squared times negative 16. I like to piece this together. So plus 208 times 6.5. And then I can do the plus 156 as well at the same time. 832 is its height, 832 feet. So that's the max height. Part C, max height. Let's say max. H equals 832 feet. All right, part D. And its velocity when S is zero. So now they wanna know when your height is zero, what's the velocity? Well, we gotta figure out when is our height is zero. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Uh, when is our height zero? We're going to set zero equal to this function here. So zero equal to the height function, negative 16 t squared plus 208 t plus 156. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to divide everything by negative 16. And let's see what happens here. 0 equals t squared, 208 divided by negative 16 is negative 13. So minus 13t and 156 divided by negative 16 is minus 9.75. Okay, so I just made them a little bit small, smaller so we can work with this. Now I want to use a quadratic formula. So negative, negative 13. Remember, we're finding t here. So negative, negative 13. Uh, plus, minus, root, negative 13 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 9.75. And that's all going to be divided by our 2a, which is just 2. So 2 times 1, which we'll see that's just 2 there. So our time is going to be 13 plus and minus. I want to plug all that in the calculator. So I'm going to say negative 13 times negative 13 minus 4 times 1 times negative 9.75 208 so I got 13 plus and minus 208 let's take the root of that as well and that's 14.4222 I'm going to use a few decimal places there divided by 2 now remember time has to be positive here so if I do 13 minus 14, well, that's not going to work. So because that'll be a negative. So I'm going to do 13 plus 14.4222 divided by 2. And that time is, so plus 13 divided by 2. 13 point, and I'm going to use a few decimals here, 7111. And that's seconds. So now we know our time that it takes us to get to our uh, height of zero. So we're going to use this then to find our velocity. So let's go ahead and do that. We take the, this, plug it into our velocity equation here. And so velocity equals negative 32 times 13.7111 plus 208. So we again take that times negative 32. We're going to add the 208. And remember, velocity is not speed, so velocity has direction. So we want to make sure that we use the negative sign when we write it. We're going negative, oop, I better write that better, negative 230 point round to the, I think they want two decimal places, so 7, 6. And that would be a feet per second. I should have put that in there. And so our part D is negative 230.76 feet per second. So that's A, B, C, and D. Finding our uh, 208 feet per second was, uh, that's the velocity. That gave us the time that it took to, uh, to reach our max height. That's our max height, and that's our... Velocity when S is zero.